Here in part three, we're going to add another card, this time with a pre-existing graphic on it, then export to After Effects. So let's go back to our Add Card mode, and within the Add Card mode, we can just use the Command or Alt key to select a couple of trackers here get the lasso mode even within the add card and now I'm just going to sweep out my card here and now we can go take a look at instead of using the existing predefined default texture to create let's just drop on an existing graphic. And there we have it. So maybe we want to just have that be lightly set into the pavement a bit so we know where to park, something like that. <clears throat> and now we are ready to export. So let's use the After Effects JavaScript export. This has quite a few options that are described in the manual. Before to check that out, one really important thing to notice is that After Effects uses pixels as its basic unit. So since Synthize uses tends to use fairly small numbers when you consider them as as pixels, a lot of the scenes are you know tens and hundreds. That that winds up fairly small if you consider about it in pixels. So there's an extra scaling factor that you can add in in Synthize or you can go and adjust your synthize coordinate system directly to produce values that are meaningful in terms of pixels. Here we're just going to use the default settings and export that produces a JavaScript. And now we can go over into After Effects. And in After Effects we're going to do a run script file. So select the file that we just exported and open it up. And now Synthize goes, or you know, the script that Synthize produced, goes and produces this comp that has the After Effects imagery set up. And it has little trackers all set up that are all these individual layers. And you can control that within Synthize from the coordinate control panel, there's a little exportable checkbox that you can use to select, you know, decide what trackers you want to export. And a lot of times you really don't need all these trackers at all, especially if all you're doing really is exporting some of the cards. So here now we see we've got our, our layer for the texture that we computed down there in Synthize, and we've got another layer that corresponds to the card that we added with our parking lot graphic to it. So we've got things nicely set up inside of After Effects and we can then go and add additional things in within the 3D environment of uh, After Effects if we're so inclined or add effects to the cards, whatever. So there you have it. Enjoy.